Hey everybody, so today I'm here to show you guys what we got our oldest daughter Sophie for her fourth birthday. I'm so excited that she's finally going to be getting this stuff because I've been hoarding it for like the past month and I just like want to give it to her because she keeps talking about some of it. Altogether, I think we spent about $130 on her birthday presents. We went a little bit more because one, she asked for something after we had been like done shopping and we felt kind of bad because it was one of two things that she had asked for. So we went ahead and got it anyways. And also what we were planning to do for her birthday wasn't going to work out, which was way expensive and we're now doing something else that's less expensive but all within budget and I also want to say I'm going to do my best to link as many things as I can for you guys however a few things I know we were in store and we bought and they were literally making room on shelves for these new products so I'm not even sure if they're online yet because when I tried to look them up I couldn't find them anywhere so I think right now some of these toys are like holiday toys and they're just now kind of coming out. So I'll do my best. I'll do my best. But nonetheless, I'll tell you where I got everything. And I do not have two things. So let's just start off with those. And that is two different books. We got this Merida book, which is kind of like one of those first reader kind of books. Her and her dad love reading these at bedtime. They're super simple, really easy to read. And Merida is one of if not her most favorite princess at the moment. So this was a no brainer. And then also we got her this elephant and piggy book about waiting because I don't know, like at two years old, that's when we first had to start teaching patience to her. And I feel like now at four years old, she's kind of having a little like selective amnesia and is forgetting how to be patient again. So we thought this wouldn't hurt. Someone else actually already got her elephant and piggy books for her birthday. And guys, these are exceptional quality. They are not nearly as expensive as what I think they're worth. So I would highly recommend these books and I'm very excited for those to come in. But those are still in the mail somewhere. So those have yet to come. And then from there, the very first thing that she ever asked me for for her birthday, we saw this in Walmart. I will try to link it because I ordered it off of online and had it shipped to our local Walmart store because I was afraid with it being part of their camping line that it would go out of like season and they were going to start to like kind of push away from it to make room for the holiday stuff but it's the this Barbie SUV look how massive this is let me try to get a better shot there we go but it's an SUV for Barbie and sh there's a little Barbie doll hopefully you can see her I really can't tell what I'm doing over here because I can't really see my viewfinder but nonetheless it fits four and there's also a little trunk space I felt like it was a little bit more roomy than the car so I do know that she's also getting other Barbies for her birthday and I thought this was pretty cool. I've never seen one of the vehicles actually come with a doll and this was around $35 I think. Actually it was $35 but we had uh, Walmart saving catchers rewards so I used that to get like $10 off. So that was the very first thing she saw and I know she's going to be stoked about getting. The next thing that we got was this National Geographic Ultimate Dino Sand. This is something I got off, of, got off of Amazon. So it says there's two pounds of play sand, six dinosaur molds, six dinosaur action figures, a sand tray, an inform informational guide, and a dinosaur poop fossil. <laughs> So I thought she would love this. You know, she's still very much into dinosaurs and the kinetic sand is one of my favorite things and one of their favorite things to play with. And kind of along the same lines, I just told my husband I was done with Play-Doh and I was going to throw it out. But <laughs> Target sucked me in. This is one of the new things that I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to link because I saw them putting it out in Target. But it's this Moto Simply Good Dough. It says it's simple ingredients, a clean scent, super soft it's non-toxic bpa phthalate and fragrance free i don't know it comes with different stamps different colors they had this set and they also had a space set and i asked her which one she liked more and she picked this one so that's what i went with this i believe was like around ten dollars and then i saw this small little set and I decided just to get some colors that weren't included with that one. And I liked how, I don't know, these containers seem really nice. It comes with a tool. And this, again, is all the same stuff that the other box said. But this was, I think, around $5. So 
I say I'm done with Play-Doh and I'm never done with it. I just buy them more. I don't know how that happens. You know what I'm saying? Like, I say I'm done with a toy and it somehow just ends up weaseling its way back into my house. That's how I constantly feel. And then something else that Mark and I really wanted to get Sophie was a piggy bank. So we got this one from Target. It's the Pillow Fort brand. brand. It's supposed to look like a foil star balloon that's kind of you can't really see it in person but it's like iridescent so it kind of shifts colors in person but we wanted to start giving Sophie an allowance like small amounts of money to help around the house do extra things that she you know I wouldn't necessarily expect from her but you know she could do them and she's gonna get an allowance for it so we kind of wanted to start that and you know she needs a place to put that money so we wanted to get her a piggy bank i feel like she's of the age where she understands one not to put anything in her mouth like that two to just like leave it alone and i trust something like this being in her room and i'm really excited because i know as a kid like i loved doing chores for allowance because it meant i got to spend my own money how i wanted to the last two things were the unexpected things so she asked for the very last thing that i'll show you because it lights up and has sounds and stuff like that but target was running a toy sale where if you spent I think it was $50, you got $10 off. The toy she wanted was $40, so it would have been silly for me to not buy something that was $10 and then get $10 off. Anyways, so I ended up finding this Vampirina coloring purse, basically. So it's like a bag, and then it comes with markers and jewels, and they can color it however they want. And she's been super into purses, super into, like, all her own stuff and liking to carry it on her so I thought this was fun and we hadn't got her anything else Vampirina because we told everybody else that she was interested in Vampirina and you know that they could go crazy with that I know she's getting a lot of Vampirina stuff so I just kind of stayed away from it but I thought this was pretty unique I hadn't seen this anywhere in store so I just grabbed it during that sale and the very last thing what she asked for <laughs> she wanted this really really bad and i made sure that this was something that she really stood by that she wanted but it's this fancy nancy singing doll i'm not even sure that they've seen a whole lot of episodes of fancy nancy i think they've only seen a handful but nonetheless sophie is obsessed with her for whatever reason but this doll i do know is like brand new i think i've seen it on amazon so i should be able to link it there if not check target like i said this was 40 dollars and Basically, you know, she's a pretty good sized doll and she lights up. There's a wristband up here for your kid to wear. There's also some accessories down here, but I'm just going to press it and you can see. There we go. So I'm sure that's just on demo mode. You know, she probably says other things. I believe yeah 35 phrases colorful lights and music i was kind of annoyed that it's not the true song i don't know why toy companies do that just put the actual song inside the doll because that's how my kid knows how to sing it but whatever nonetheless she was super excited she thought this was like the coolest thing ever and i really liked the fact that it had like a wristband and different things for her to for her to interact with and like I said it was one of two things that she had asked for this in the Barbie car so but it does look like an honestly really cute doll and I think she's gonna have a ton of fun with it I kind of made it seem like we probably weren't gonna get it so I think she's gonna be really surprised when she sees this but that is everything that we got for Sophie for her birthday I know it doesn't seem like a lot but it's definitely more than enough and she also gets presents from other people so stayed in budget we got the thing she asked for and I'm, I'm all around really excited like I said she's kind of grown out of the baby toys and stuff like that so it was really exciting to buy for her this year you know I had to kind of step out of my own comfort zone when buying things for her and try to think of things that she would use that she likes but also that can grow with her because she is in this stage where you know just not simply entertained they really want to do the things that they love and they enjoy if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below I'll do my best to answer them but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always thanks for watching